Hey Yoshi, did you hear the news? We're getting baby ducklings! Yeah! <laughs> We got a phone call saying that our ducklings were at the post office, so we're on our way now, and we're super excited. <laughs> Baby shimmies. Let's see them. Oh. So yeah, the yolk inside the egg is actually the food reserve for the baby. So Hi guys. They live off the yolk for up to three days. Oh, I love them already. And they were only in the mail for one day, so let's hurry up and get them home and give them their first drink of water and their first bit of food. So the first thing you want to do when you bring the baby ducklings home is you want to show them where their water is. I like to always dip their beak in the water so they know. Hi babies. Keep what I'm gonna do is first drink. will soon be their life. Ducks at water. We have just found the most favorite thing in the entire world. It's so cute. So we got these guys hanging out in the heat over here already. Great chilling. Oh, yes, yeah, feels good, huh? It's been exactly a week since we got these babies, and they've literally doubled in size. We've been just refreshing by adding some shavings in there daily, cleaning out this paint tray, but today we're gonna completely clean it out with all brand new shavings. They've mastered the art of eating. They empty this thing every couple days, and we've given them a bigger water bowl because they really go through the water. And using this feeder top on top of a bowl has really been keeping the egg clean so the ducks don't take little baths. <laughs> Look how messy that gets under there. If we didn't have this paint tray, all that water would end up all over the shavings getting soaked up. So right now we're just going to go ahead and empty that out. Be nice and easy. They're afraid of the camera. They take turns sleeping on their little chair. They love it. They're getting little personalities. This is how we refill their water easily. And they love when you drip it. <laughs> See, there's the feeder top in action. Mess free ducks. They try their hardest. Some of that new bedding, nice and dry and clean. All right. Let's go ahead and take him for a bath.
gets heavy now. Ooh, all wet. It's gonna dry up. Bring the heat lamp down closer so they dry quicker. They'll be drying in no time. Look at that, they're smart. They know to go to the light. It's warm. You guys are so big now. So the ducks are now two weeks old. They're starting to outgrow this plastic tote. They're getting real big. And we're gonna go ahead and clean out the plastic tote today and let them play out in the sun because it's a pretty nice day out here in Southern California. It's starting to feel more like spring. So we're gonna let them go outside and enjoy some sun and some nice fresh grass. Come on up. We're gonna clean out your brood and get to play outside. So. These little girls here were born literally two weeks ago today. It's on a Wednesday and that's when they hatched. We picked them up the very next day, but they're two weeks old today. And look, they're taking up most of my hand. They were tiny. We could, I could probably hold four or five of them in each hand two weeks ago, but they've gotten so big. They get to play out in the sun today. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Come on up. You're gonna get to explore some grass and get some sun. And then of course we're gonna put their little chair there. They, they love sitting on this thing. I don't know when they're gonna stop using it because they've already kind of outgrown it, but they still lay on it. If you are going to have your ducklings playing out in the grass, make sure you provide some grit for them so they can digest their food. So let them go at it. Now that they're bigger and messier, we're having to empty this out every other day now. Big butt. Your sisters are looking for you over there. She's over here, guys. Go with your sisters, go. These guys are still sleeping in our bathroom at night, but in the daytime we let them out here. We put them in a brooder in the sun with some water. They're gonna be moving outside pretty soon here now though, either today or tomorrow. Starting to get their feathers in. Get it real big, real quick. Hi. How you doing? Comfy? Cozy? Ooh, mama's gonna be mad that you're eating her flowers. Oh, some kale. She found the kale. But it's okay, she can eat it. It's good for her. Some Russian kale, I think, too. 
we typically choose to kill, but we give it to our chickens and our ducks as well. So they found the source. I think they found their new favorite spot. They're in the splash zone. They've gotten so big, they're the size of a adult Cayuga duck now. And they're friendly. They come up running when they got treat. They're fully grown and feathered. Very friendly. You can lure them with grubs. Then you can pet them a little bit, but then they run. And they shine green in the light. These guys are beautiful. The good girls.
Now these girls are almost three months old. They're huge and in a couple more months soon we'll be seeing shades of black to gray eggs from them. Stay tuned for that video coming up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have you made it this far? I know it's a long video but we just couldn't edit any more of it out with these cute babies. So if you liked that video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys on the next video.